I'm Tom Clothier. Jordan McIntyre. Taylor Savage. And I'm Donnie. And the movie we watched was Power and Control. My personal reaction to it, I found it really interesting to watch a woman's personal journey from leaving her husband to going to the shelter and working while also trying to take care of her children and specifically how it affected the children and how upset it would make them. And then um, the professionals' opinions and, and ha what they thought would happen to the woman and kind of watching her follow that process as they talked about it was interesting to me. Um, I thought that the video was really interesting. I kind of found it like disturbing to watch her do everything that she did because she lived with her husband and then had to move out because of it and into the shelter. And then it took three months for her to even get into a new house. And she said, like, while she was with her children and stuff, that she, like, has the rest of, like, the responsibilities that her husband is out doing whatever. Like, she said, like, he's doing the things that she desires. And, like, that was, like, haunting to me. I don't know. I felt that this video was very important for those going through domestic violence just because some people are afraid to speak up. And seeing someone else being able to overcome what they are going through is very important and gives some life to them. Right. My initial reaction to the whole thing was, you know, it's eye-opening. You know, you, you follow this woman through her journey of the process and everything. And, you know, it is disturbing, like Taylor said. You, you see you all the bad things that happen. And then you, you get that hope where she, uh, she goes off and does the things that she wants to do. But, you know... My emotional reaction to it was, it is disturbing, and it's a, it's a real problem out there. Um, so what I learned, specifically one of the things that I learned, was that um, women tend to leave their abuser, it usually takes them up to seven to ten times, which like blew my mind, because you would think maybe at one or two at most, that, that you'd think they'd be done, but just to find out that it literally would take them up to ten times, it just, it, it was, it blew my mind. That's, I literally was going to say the same exact thing. I, when I heard that, I couldn't believe that people stay around for that long. And then with her, like, at the end, when he did come back and the, like, professionals were saying, like, he was going to do that and he was going to make it sound like it was okay and that he's changed and stuff. And it was, like, exactly what they said was exactly what happened. So, I don't know, like, that, like, was interesting to me. Uh, something I learned was that it's not just, it doesn't just affect the one person. So in this instance, the woman, it affects her children as towards the end, the child just hated her, her dad and was willing to even die just because of the relationship she had to see. But of outside of women, it does go along with like family members, such as the woman's parents, like having to watch their own daughter Go to go through something terrible with some guy who's just not right for. Her. Right, you know, I, I learned that uh, it is a huge problem. You, I mean, you're brought up through school and you know just through society and everything that you know domestic violence is an issue out there. But I feel like this video does a you know a great job of capturing uh, truly how big of a deal it is and how important and how much it affects each and every person's life. Like Donnie said, it's not just you know that one person. It's everyone connected to her you know it's it's all the strings attached to the, the children and you know the family members uh it's it's a huge epidemic um as for prevention for these things i think from a young age you need to teach children specifically girls um that they don't need to take what what these women have gone through and that when these things happen they need to leave as soon as they can or teach them where they can go to deal with these problems that they're having um, I think, well, they said that within the last 10 years that the domestic violence, like, knowledge has changed so much and, like, for the better. So I feel like that's definitely something that they, we have to keep up with, like, keep the education going and everything. Um, but with this video, I felt like that they didn't really target the fact that men could be abused. And I feel like that's also something that needs to be said, too. So I feel like even though the video was, like, good, they didn't do justice for the subject all around um one way i thought of preventing all this was teaching like starting from a young age where children like you want to teach children manners like growing up i was always taught like you can't hit women you can't do anything like don't yell at a woman especially like to my mom like she knows more than everything like than i do and that in order to prevent it 
we have to just be aware of everything that's going on. Right, I agree with everything. I think education is a huge, uh, you know, I think it's a huge thing to, you know, solve this thing, or at least prevent it. I also think that, you know, being a good person and being a good family member or a friend or, you know, a colleague, if you see signs or anything, you know, step in, intervene, you know, ask the person, is everything okay? Like, what can I do? Do some research on your own. Just get aware, get educated, and uh, be a good person in society. Don't don't just watch it go by, because too many bad things happen from that. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. <laughs>